welcome back to my channel. It's I know it's been some time since I talked about my moisture overload and you guys have been in my comments like, bitch, you ain't got no moisture overload no more. So I just wanted to address it and just tell you guys how I got over it because I, I mean, clearly I had it. But I still feel like my hair isn't 100% where it used to be before I got the moisture overload. But we're going to get more into that in just a second. So I wrote down a few things in my notes, so that's why my phone is in my hands. So there's not much that I did do to get over this moisture overload, but the biggest thing I would have to say is listening to your hair, okay? So you know you have protein and then you have moisture, and they must be balanced at all times or your hair is gonna be over protein or it's gonna be over moisturized. In this case, my hair was over moisturized. Now. You're probably asking, well, what happened? How did you get to this? Like, what happened? What made you get moisture overload? Well, I will place the videos above that I, that I actually talk about it. Because in this video, we're going to really just be talking about how I got rid of it. So, since my hair was over moisturized, of course, the simple thing to do is to add more protein. But with adding more protein, it's a little tricky. Because... You can over protein your hair, so you have to listen to your hair. Now, I only did one protein treatment. Only one. I did not do, no, I did two. I did two, but I regretted the second one because I, I did it the next week after I did the first one. And honestly, my, I could feel my hair just being too hard and it was not going to act right. And I was, it made it worse, basically. So, you definitely don't want to do the Alphagy treatment too much. Um, and honestly, if you have moisture overload, I would say use the Alpha G protein treatment, but it will not cure everything for, for good. Like, that's not the, the cure for moisture overload. That's just not the cure. You have to consistently put um, protein into your hair, but when people say that, that does not mean that you need to consistently do a protein treatment. You just need products. You need to incorporate products into your hair regimen that include protein okay I just started using protein deep conditioners every time I deep condition my hair now these deep conditioners are not going to do anything harmful to your hair if you have moisture overload okay let's we're gonna keep going on that because I'm not telling you to just start using a bunch of protein when you don't necessarily have moisture overload a weekly I deep condition with a with a protein deep conditioner. Sometimes I use a hydrolyzed protein deep conditioners and those can be found in a lot of Shea Moisture deep conditioners. And sometimes I use things that were targeted towards being a protein deep conditioner. Um, now anything with hydrolyzed protein, I've used that millions of times and I'm sh like, it's not gonna do anything. Um, so any of the Shea Moisture ones, they're not like super packed with protein, so it's not going to necessarily harm your hair, even if you have low porosity hair. Um, but if you have moisture overload, you do want to use an actual protein deep conditioner. And the ones that I use, I use the Myel Protein Deep Conditioner, and I also use the um, Shea Moisture Manuka Protein Deep Conditioner. That one's really good as well. So those were the two that I kind of went back and forth with. The Myel Organics one was the one that I really, really went towards all the time. Like, I literally use that one weekly. But I did just start using the Mish one, and I've also used the Shea Moisture one as well. But I made sure that I was deep conditioning my hair week. Hey, honey, like, sis, I was not, I was not joking. Like, I was literally making sure I put that deep conditioner on, and I sat under the dryer. I did not use any caps. No, I sat under my hooded dryer for about 30 minutes to make sure that was good and sealed into my hair. And you guys, every single time my hair just got better and better and better and then my hair got stronger and stronger and stronger. When you have moisture overload, your hair is very, very weak, you guys. It's very, very weak. So you have to strengthen your hair up. That is all that it is. Your hair has gotten weakened and it's just so, and that's why it looks so weighed down and just looks like heat damage because your curls are just like, but we tired, okay? We are tired. We gotta go to sleep. Wake us up when we are strong enough. We're weak right now, like basically. Your job is to just strengthen your hair back. Another thing that I did is I stopped moisturizing my hair heavy. I did not use heavy moisturizers. You guys know I'm not a big fan of heavy moisturizers anyway, but it got to the point where sometimes I just added a gel because my hair was just so moisturized. I'd add like a little spray leave-in and then I would just add a gel and just let that gel sit on my hair for three to four days and then I washed. I did try to stretch out my wash days since my hair was so moisturized 
I didn't want to continue to wet my hair and wet my hair and wet my hair and wet my hair if my hair was like super moisturized and super wet, you know what I'm saying? So I did stop washing my hair as consistent as I was and that definitely helped a lot. Um, I still wash my hair weekly, don't get me wrong, but sometimes when I was making my videos, I would be washing my hair like every day, like it was ridiculous. If you want to avoid this, a good thing to do is to just use a protein deep conditioner and a regular deep conditioner every other week. Just keep switching those out and I think you'll be good. Um, I would use a Shea Moisture one because it's hydrolyzed protein, it's not as bad, it's like a protein deep conditioner. Now the thing that I really want to say that really helped with the protein, I mean the moisture overload thing was me not using combs. Not I did not use any tools whatsoever for two months. No tools. I only use fingers. I finger detangled. I raked product through my hair. I didn't even use a dim and brush on the ends. Like I was strictly just using my fingers. And I did that because my hair was very weak. Like I said, your hair gets very weak when it's in moisture overload. And um, so it, it definitely couldn't take a whole bunch of like raking through. You know, being very strainful on your hair, I do not recommend any tight ponytails. I do not recommend, like you literally gotta just let your hair be. I don't recommend um, any braids, any protective styles while you're going through moisture overload because all of that is strain on your hair. And your hair is not as strong as it needs to be to hold all of those hairstyles. It's just not. You can't necessarily do rod sets. You literally have to do either some sealy, like, twist, like, some really fat, juicy something. Um, something that's just not strainful on your hair. Like, you just really wash and go and then leave it in for two weeks. And it's hard to do a, a good wash and go when you got moisture overload, okay? So... <laughs> Um, it's definitely tricky. It's definitely tricky. I'm not saying it's going to be an easy process to get over, but I got over it. I mean, sis, I, I, I got all the way over it. Shit. It's like a bad ex. Bitch, we done with you. <laughs> you gotta go. Thank you. Next. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But nah, friend, like, I was so pissed off about that moisture overload, so let me see. So basically, that pretty much it, like, Literally on here, I have no combs or brushes. Got it. Protein needed weekly, but not a protein treatment. I've already discussed that. Minimize your wash days. We've discussed that. And to not use heavy moisturizers. We have established that. So I think once you mentally get the idea of what moisture overload is, then you will be able to understand what should be done to your hair. So like I said, it's just your hair is super moisturized and your, your hair is weak. Your hair is weak and it's soft and it's just gooey. It's just, y'all, it's a mess, okay? So what you got to do is bring some strength back to it. And a lot of times it's just leaving your hair the hell alone. But you guys know I didn't necessarily just like leave my hair alone. I did start using a lot of Diva Curl products. I did, I did. I stopped using a lot of these products that had a lot of heavy moisturizers in them because they, they're very heavy. Um, a lot of these products are very, very, very heavy, so I kind of, you know, took a little back. I was like, okay, maybe I should just use some Diva Curl, and I honestly do think it worked. I started using, I did use one of their deep conditioners as well. It was pretty good. Um, I didn't have any issues with that. So, um, if you are going through moisture overload, I do highly recommend Diva Curl, and I recommend you getting some protein deep conditioners and some um, Shea Moisture deep conditioners. They got hydrolyzed protein in them as well. Um... But yeah, you guys, I think that's pretty much it, y'all. That was, actually, that is it. That's all that I did. I didn't do anything special. It's literally don't not touching your hair, like not putting strain on your hair and adding strength to your hair and not adding as much moisture to your hair anymore. Just letting your hair be until your hair just gets strong enough and then you'll know when you need to start adding some more moisturizer because you'll be like, all right, now my wash and goes are getting a little dry, so I might need to start adding more moisture into my hair because my hair isn't over moisturized anymore if you know what i'm saying um so yeah guys that's pretty much it as you can see my hair is flourishing it's beautiful do y'all remember when i told y'all my hair wasn't bouncing back do y'all see this it's back like when i had moisture overload it was not bouncing back but we're bouncing we're bouncing so I am, I'm happy, I'm actually super happy about this wash and go, y'all. If you have not watched this wash and go, I'm going to link it above, okay? It is amazing. I love it. It looks so good. You think it look good on this camera, baby, in person. 
my hair is everything. Like I get, I've gotten so many compliments. Like, what's who is that girl? Who is some curls? She look cute. Oh hey, it's Karen. What's good? <laughs> but anyway, I'm I'm just joking now. So I hope you guys like this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Mwah.